With this simple addition to your podcasts, you can enhance the audio experience for your listeners and make it easier to pull your listeners through a story. Hi, I'm Bridget from Riverside, and in this video, we will look at three ways that you can use sound design in your podcast episodes, and I'll talk about some well-known podcasts that use these tactics to upgrade their content. Audio clips can be an excellent tool for enriching your podcast, whether it's a news show, an interview, or a storytelling format. They provide context, support your narrative, and can make your content more dynamic. Imagine you're creating a podcast episode about a historical event, like the first moon landing. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Including actual audio clips from that day can transport your listeners back in time, making them feel like they're part of that moment. The use of authentic archival audio adds depth and credibility to your story, making it more engaging and immersive. The Daily is a news podcast that uses sound bites from videos, interviews, speeches, and events to enrich their storytelling. Take a listen to this example. In today's busy world, going to the video store is a hassle. With Netflix. So let's go back to 10 years ago. Return one in this prepaid envelope, and they'll automatically send you another movie from your list. Netflix basically back then was known primarily as a DVD company. Right. But they had a streaming service at that point that was four years old. And Netflix executives were pretty convinced that watching TV and movies over the Internet was going to become a thing. So it was time for them to get into original series. It all started with House of Cards, the big original show from Netflix, which premiered in 2013. For those of us climbing to the top of the food chain, there can be no mercy. There is but one rule. Hunt or be hunted. Starring Kevin Spacey, from the director David Fincher. As you can hear, they have integrated the sound bites seamlessly, having a nice transition between the audiograms and the actual podcast episode. Sound effects can add depth, excitement, and atmosphere to your podcast, making it more dynamic and captivating. Before adding sound effects, Determine the purpose of them in your podcast. Are they meant to enhance a specific scene, create a particular mood, or emphasize a point? Knowing the purpose will guide you in selecting the right sound effects that complement your content. Imagine you're producing a fictional podcast set in a bustling city. As your characters walk down a busy street, you can incorporate the sounds of honking horns, footsteps, and distant conversations. These sounds effectively help you paint a vivid picture in your listeners' minds making them feel like they're right there with the characters. Another example is to create a sense of tension or suspense. For instance, you can use a creaking door sound effect to introduce a mysterious character, or a ticking clock sound effect to build anticipation before a big reveal. These sound effects not only enhance the story, but also help your listeners connect emotionally with the narrative. Listen to this section of Welcome to Night Vale that helps bring the audience into the scene. I am heartened that Dr. Jones is willing to break with his employer on this. So, <clears throat> as loath as I am to abandon my broadcast, I must. I'm sorry that I didn't even get to the weather, but I will talk to you again next time. Oh, okay, Dr. Jones is waving. I have to go. Well, sounds like Blake succeeded in tricking that fool away from his mic. It's Dr. Janet Lubell. Welcome to Night Vale serves as an excellent example of how sound effects and music can be used to craft an immersive and captivating audio experience. Music can play a vital role in your podcast by enhancing the atmosphere, signaling transitions, and adding emotional depth. Imagine you're producing a travel podcast where you share your experiences exploring different destinations around the world. As you describe a lively outdoor market in Morocco, you can incorporate traditional Moroccan music into the background to transport your listeners to that location and make them feel like they're right there with you. The music helps create an immersive atmosphere and adds authenticity to your storytelling. How I Built This with Guy Raz effectively uses music to enhance the storytelling engage listeners, and create a polished professional sound. Tell me a little bit about this idea that that you had, John, to start playing around with YouTube and communicating with your brother over it. What was that about? Well, I think I wanted to be closer to Hank. 
I think that was the biggest thing. We lived on different sides of the country, but also we never talked on the phone. We only communicated over instant messenger. And I felt like I didn't know him that well. And that felt like a big hole in my life. Hmm. But then also, we were both really interested in online video. By strategically incorporating music that matches the vibe of the stories being told, How I Built This creates a captivating and memorable listening experience. To get more information about finding royalty-free music and sound effects to use in your show, check out the video linked above next. Sound design can help you tell your story more effectively and connect with your audience on a deeper level. So go ahead and experiment with these different sound design techniques in your podcast and see how it can transform your content into a truly memorable and impactful listening experience. If you liked this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And before you go, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you never miss another video from Riverside. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next one.